Good morning. It's nearly five to eight. I've been here just after seven o'clock. I'm at Foxford Quarry, Sybil Headingham, Essex. Today is a round three of the GH Motorcycles Husqvarna ACU Eastern Solo Enduro Championship. And this will be at the halfway stage. It has been run on the Hare and Hounds format. But before that, we have a little bit of history today. We are having what we call a youth race. They are for between 12 and 16 years old and they are going to go around for about an hour on a, on a different track. And uh, the Sudbury Motorcycle Club, who are organising this event, like to uh, do youth events as well because we've got quite a few youth um, up and coming who have been riding in youth events coming towards adult so uh, we've got future champions going it's about nine I, I believe and um, two of them are females and there's one there walking towards me now Georgie Georgie Potter there you go she's gonna wave Georgie Sorry. wave and she's riding today as she goes to a bike <laughs> Even I just uh, understand today them. we've got a multi-lapper hare and hounds event. Uh, it's three hours, believe it or not. Personally, I think that's too much, but there you go. At your age, it is. You know. <laughs> Obviously, you're in your groups. Championship should be at the front. Expert, clubman, and then vets and super vets at the back. There's going to be a 30-second gap in between each wave of riders, so don't go early. John's the star. He'll have a flag. He'll flag us off. Um, We've just got to wait for the travelling marshal to go around, make sure all the shortcuts for the youth race have been taken out. Um, the track, there's a couple of new bits. Um, man standing in front of me over here has been on the digger, so he's built a few obstacles. There's one particular one over the far side. You'll go around the sand pit, and as you come out, there's three tractor tyres. After then, it's like a big wall. It's not a jump. So don't hit it and try and jump it, because it's about ten foot the other side. You ride over it slowly. <laughs> You've got that? <laughs> Great. Apart from that, it's all as it normally is, hard, dusty, a few bricks and rocks here. You know, just be careful where you go. Uh, no course cutting. The, um, the timing system, we're modifying it each time. We've got a big sign up there that now that says, no number, no lap. We put the screens right near where you, you zap your wrists. So you will be able to see your number easier. Um, if you don't see your number, your lap won't count, and there's no paper backup. So if you come to us at the end and say, oh, I did more laps, sorry guys, it's ha, down ha, to you. Ha, ha. <laughs> there's, two way, there's two channels to make it easier, so we don't have four people <laughs> fighting over two receivers. Just take your time through there, it's the same for everybody. It's walking pace, blue tape, and your lap will be counted. But if you rush through, if you try and go through there without stopping, as a lot of you have started to do, and you put your wrist down, you listen for a beep, we've done with the beep. Brendan. <laughs> so, stop, see your number, and you'll be counted. Um, I think that's it. Just have a great day, and uh, good luck. We've run about five minutes to go. The start of the Heron Hound, which is round three of the GH Motorcycle Tuscavana ACU Eastern Solo Enduro Championship. First, we we'll have off will be the championship class, as you can see there. Then, there's an interval of 30 seconds, experts will go. And then, after that interval, the clubman will go, but clubman will go in probably three different waves. There are three different classes in the clubman, so that would be okay. And we have three hours. They all look like they want to start, but according to me, five minutes to go. Filming in the sun, we've got the sun out with a little rain this morning. Just don't know what to put on. 
Jason uh, Morland has just uh, gone and relieved himself. That saved a bit of weight for him to carry. But we're sort of coming towards three minutes to go. Probably um, three and a half. So a long wait. Around about two and a half minutes. Times hang when you're waiting to, to go by. It was the same in the, uh, the youth race. It just hung and hung and hung. And suddenly it turns up and there's a way. Be patient. I think it's just, we're just starting the last minute. We're within the last minute before the start. John Hart has moved across. And round three will be starting very shortly. Two, four, six, eight, ten, about eleven. Championship riders, a bit disappointing. He's just given them seconds there. I didn't hear the first, what the number was. They're all set. Craig is a bit laid back, number two. Time's coming up now, very shortly. And away, and there we go, round three started. Randy Myers has taken the lead. How long for, we don't know. Will he finish this? Today is another question. Tapes have been taken down for the next stop. Next wave of riders. Someone's trying to start already. Away, and the next big first two away. 23 miles, Sergeant, has taken the lead. The expert. He's got a battle to save with Kevin Palmer. There's a cheer in there saying, come on, Joe. It could be our 15-year-old today. Joe Phillips riding his first... But keep hit that running. There we go, there we go. We're, we're looking for 44. This is the way. Go on, Joe. Joe Phillips is going to be in the lead. Quite like that one. But we're in the regulations. The next wave is being sorted out. Low off! I didn't get the leader of that one, but it's the one in front. The dust has come up here already. One more rider left on the line. 72! Go on, do it, Georgie. And come third. Last time it's Brendan Myers in the lead and now Jason Morland, who was second, is has now got the lead and I knew it would be long before we do that. Oh, he's miles ahead of that. Where's... And it's... Craig Opa second. So what's happened to Brendan? Brendan, where are you? There he comes now. 14. 15. Ben Clark, I think. That one. Wow. But mark you, it's a three hour event. A lot can and will happen. Number seven. Eight, that's Sam Mitchell, I think. Number ten, I think ten today is Harry Clark. Not like his style. Number nine. Can I hear them? Number twelve. Number twenty-three went through just a while ago. The I think he's the first expert at the moment. That's Miles Saunders. I'm not sure what number Kevin Palmer is. They're, they're the two top riders in the expert class at the moment. 55, he's well up. 22, Team Day Rover shirt. Second Team Day Rover shirt. No, second one is Nathan Greenaway. I wonder if it's um, Ryan McDonald, the front one. Jack Nicolo is riding the British 
Championships this year, this, today. 21, might be Kevin Palmer. 83, 25, 26. You can see them all coming through there. 31, Michael Rich wearing his yellow. He's leading the expert veteran class. The wind has got up, you probably hear it in the microphone. Dean is it? Oh good. 64 there was Dean Curry. At the beginning of the day he was leading the club and veteran class with his first win last week, first win in any competition. 28 a little far way back, 29. That expert class. Jump with that later, that'd be too tiring for them. About 20 minutes gone. <laughs> Looking over to the um, and find the receivers. They seem to be working well, one, one rider's a bit slow. Oh, in the dust there. Filming blind again, as I normally do. I'm zoomed in on the tabletop. With the sunlight in my viewer, I can't see what I'm supposed to be filming. One's very slow over that tabletop. That table has been built by Jason Morland. One's very gingerly coming around the bend to get a good run up to it. That one's a bit faster. There's the ball coming here now. There's quite a few coming, so I'll, I'll focus on the tabletop if I can focus. There's some passing going on there. Whoa! That's the tabletop scene too. Back with a tabletop sail. One just come off there, I missed that, I stopped filming. But he's alright. I think he took a bow. I'm not sure if Sharon got his um, picture. I zoom in, I can't see who it is. Checking his bike over, getting his leg over now. He should be riding though. He's off, his way is all clear. He's okay, he's safe. 